What is concrete resurfacing? Well, typically speaking, when you pour concrete, you would pour it at a thickness of perhaps three to four, perhaps even six inches thick, depending on the structural application and how strong this concrete needs to be. Now, over time, as that concrete ages, what will happen is that the surface, the part that's exposed to the sun and the snow and the rain and salt and anything like that, that will wear much faster than the part of the concrete that's buried three and a half inches deep below the surface. So over time, the surface of the concrete can start to erode and fail and the concrete can weaken and become a little sandy and it can look poor. In that kind of situation, you don't really need to replace all of the concrete, structurally speaking. Speaking, it's still sound, it's still all there, it's not cracked and broken, just the surface is a little bit porous, a little bit rough looking. That's one of the benefits of concrete is you can reapply concrete or resurface it, sometimes called purging. But basically when you purge concrete, all you're doing is just adding a new bit of concrete over top of some old concrete. There is a technical process on how to do this. You need to clean the old concrete very thoroughly first, and then there's a bonding agent that you would use in between the new concrete and the old concrete such that you can get a mechanical bond of approximately 80% as strong as if the concrete had all been poured at the same time. Now, when you purge concrete, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about it and a lot of different mixes that you could get into using because a purge coat needs to be fairly advanced compared to the average concrete mix. The average concrete mix is just more or less Portland cement and sand and gravel, but a purge mix is probably going to need to be modified heavily so that it will bond really well to the old concrete surface. In total, that is how you resurface concrete. You do not always need to replace it in its entirety. Sometimes you can just redo the top layer. If you found this information helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.